Hi, I'm Wendy Dahl with Dahl Wedding Company, and I want to help you today to learn how to save money on your wedding. The first thing that I would recommend doing is to sit down with your fiancé and prioritize where you'd like to spend your money. What's most important to you? Is it your food? Is it the decor? Is it the entertainment? It's best to decide what's most important. That way you know how to allocate your money correctly. The second thing that I would recommend you do would be to reduce the size of your guest list. The more guests you have come, the more money you're going to spend overall. A lot of the times when I do budgeting with my clients, I show them the cost per guest average on how much money they're going to spend, and sometimes their jaws drop on the floor when they see how much money they're spending for one person to come to their wedding. The third thing that I would recommend you do would be to look at alternative days to get married. Most people think of getting married on a Saturday evening. You can save money by getting married on a Saturday afternoon, a Sunday, or a weekday. The best value you're going to get is getting married on a weekday. Most places have availability and they'll work with you on your budget. My fourth tip would be to choose an off-season date. A lot of people who get married along the coast like to get married between May and October, where that would be the off-season out in the desert. So if you're going to have a desert wedding, choose to do it in a warmer month. If you're going to have it along the coast, choose to do it in a cooler month. You're going to save thousands, if thousands of dollars by choosing an off-season date. My fifth tip is to be creative with your food and beverage spending. It's something that usually costs about half of what most people spend on their wedding. The first thing to look at is the portion size. You don't need to serve the extra large plate of food. Your guests are gonna get plenty of food throughout the course of the day. So if you have the option to choose between a 10 ounce piece of meat and a six ounce piece of meat, go with a smaller piece of meat. It's also helpful to use foods that are in season and maybe even foods that are grown locally. The second thing I would tell you to do when it comes to your food and beverage is to limit your bar. A lot of people do open bars. I think it's a good thing, you know, etiquette wise to make sure that the bar is open for your guests, but you can also do a soft bar where it's soft drinks and beer and wine, and then serve a couple of signature drinks that are already pre-made so that you're not, you know, sky's the limit open bar so that everybody's drinking the heaviest, most expensive drink that costs you $11 per glass. My last tip to save money is to serve cake from a sheet cake to your guests. You can have a display cake that you can cut into, and it's a gorgeous cake, but it has, you know, it's definitely on a smaller scale. And then you just serve your guests a sheet cake, they'll never know the difference. My last tip is to tell you to get crafty. It's really easy to save a lot of money when you do things on your own. There's a lot of resources out there that give you guidance on how to make things. And there's also a lot of materials and supplies available to you, both in local stores and online. Go ahead, make it personal, make it cute and fun, and put your personality into it. Always remember that if you hire a wedding consultant, they could guide you to the right places that will give you the best value for your money. I hope my tips on how to save money for your wedding have been helpful to you, and I wish you the best of luck in planning your wedding. I'm Wendy with Doll Wedding Company. Thanks for watching.